guy's been waiting for phone lines for over a year and he has his uh, the printer slash fax machine hooked up outside of his office and his idea was to route the patch cable through a hole that he made in the wall. So this is a huge, huge warehouse and I was doing some cost connects of the new phone lines and I stumbled upon this and they wanted to use another jack for the data. I mean for the fax. But uh, this is completely unacceptable. So we're going to use, move both of these jacks to the other side of the wall. But uh, it's not easy because they're coming through a conduit and into an actual junction box. So there's a there's little tabs on the back of the box. I, I drilled the hole through through one of them and I loosened them up. So when I drilled through, though, you can see I made a hole in the drywall all the way through. And then we're going to pull the Cat 6 wires from the office. We've taken the jacks off of the wall plate, so we're going to get these, these cables off the jacks. And then I, I uh, put electrical tape and tied each each cat six cable to a fish stick and then I'm just gonna pull them out they gotta be gentle so that they don't slip off the, the fish stick and I uh, will do the same with the other cable So now we've got the two cables on. We're going. To, can't really use a junction box, but we can use a uh, what they call plaster ring or a mud ring. So we're just going to line the plaster ring up against the wall exactly where we want it. Mind you, you can only use these for low voltage, not high voltage. So you're going to po poke the drywall saw in each of the corners. And we're gonna try to get rid of that hole he made in just a second. So we're gonna cut a square. Remember a square that you cut is almost never the right size. It's always a little bit smaller usually. So Make sure I put some paper towels down to catch uh, all the dust. So if you try and fit this this ring in, we're gonna run into some problems. It doesn't fit, and there's all that insulation in the back. So we're gonna need this patch cable anymore. And then Yeah, we gotta get all the insulation out from the area. So once we've cleaned the hole out, uh, we can put the plaster ring onto the hole. And you, you want to fold the tabs back. Mm 
and then you want to add the screws that, that come with the plaster ring there's one screw at the top and one screw at the bottom but make sure to fold the tabs back without the screws the tabs don't stay very tight so you, you put them on with your hands and then you just screw them in so uh, maybe I cut this hole a little bit too big but once the screws are tight Uh, make sure that uh, you didn't get any insulation caught be between the tab and the the ring or the drywall I mean so uh, you want to punch down the cat6 cables to uh, to the jacks Then punch them down onto the face plate. And then you want to tuck all the cables into the, the hole and put the face plate on. It's a standard face plate so it, it fits right onto the, uh, the mud ring that we've used. So we just want to tighten up the face plate on the wall. Now on the inside of of the office. We're going to cover it with a blank face plate. I didn't have any blanks but I had a single port plate and then I just put a blank insert into it. And, uh, we can just screw that right on and we're good to go. And then We're going to patch the fax machine printer back in.